Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect Escapes. Today's sort of beverages. A nice chilled, refreshing, sparkling water with a dash of lime. So technically not a beverage, but still a very hydrating drink indeed. So welcome back to Prison Architect Escapes. This is the series where we attempt to break out facilities not made by me. This is the Jungle Walls Prison. I'll put links in the description as always. And I've been tasked with a bit of a challenge here. This is Prisoner Boys, prison number 5038210. And this is just not any old inmate. This guy is an assassin. I've been told that in this facility there is a snitch, a singular snitch. Our goal is to get in the facility, case it out, find a way to escape, identify said snitch, and then, well, take them out and leave. That is the goal. It's not a very nice goal, but it's one that's been set and something that's been different from any of the other challenges in the past. So we're being escorted through this quite nice hallway here. I think it's like bamboo flooring with... Aztec jungle wall type thing. It's uh, it's quite nice. And we've got things like infirmary storage. We've got showers. Ooh, the XP pinata. Um, a kitchen, which doesn't appear to have any sort of metal detection systems in place. In fact, I'm not seeing any of that at all. And, uh, yeah. Well, like I said, the snitch, I have no idea where they are. The idea, though, is that you can, like, mouse over, like, different inmates and such. And you can then see, the, like, their traits. So, for example, like, this guy up here, they've got... Oh, they've got no traits. That person has got any traits. That person has got any traits. Bad examples. Um, <laughs> it shows the amount of rep points on the right-hand side. But when they do have traits, the rep points will go up and... Oh! Is someone writing? I think so. Oh, so there you go. So John Burley has Instigator. Um, none of these guys have anything else, but yeah, um, that guy's that guy's fighting. Um, we've got extremely quick. The problem is that I'm, well, I assume perhaps wrongly that I wouldn't have been set this challenge if I couldn't identify the snitch. So you can't, for example, unlock the snitch trait from this reputation because, well, why would you? Um, the idea is that basically you, yeah, you have to f run around and mouse over and find out if, if the snitch is there and I assume it does show so I'm just going to have a little look around actually what I'm probably going to do it's currently lock up um, so I'm going to go in here and I'm just going to start smashing things up because I need to farm some points specifically I want to farm um, the deadly trait I'm just going to surrender there and s oh look at that It's uh, <laughs> it was a bit of a riot going on interesting let's go with deadly and we will smash that off the wall, we'll uh, punch the TV, got an armed guard coming in. I don't really want to go up in category if I can avoid it, but I'm not really too bothered if we if we do, I guess. Um, there's a boombox, we can punch that and punch that, and we'll surrender and skip punishments. And I've picked up that, I'll pick up quick. I probably would like maybe some more traits. I'm noticing as well that because of the facility and it's... Um, its design and what else we got here it's basically there's no tasers so as far as i can tell we don't really need again as far as i can tell we don't really need any sort of uh yeah we don't need any sort of like toughness or strong or anything like that i mean strong is always useful anyway i'm gonna have a quick look through this facility because we haven't really identified uh the way the best means to escape i'm also doing like a cursory sort of look at all of the inmates that are around just trying to see if any of them do have that uh, that snitch trait we've got what appears to be a outside area with oh yeah it's like a yard it's pretty good we've got classrooms we've got execution up here which is curious an empty room there that i have no idea why it's empty but i guess it has its uses we've got lots of offices at the top there we've got a yeah a standard door and a staff door we're going to go through into the into the canteen and also into the kitchen okay this is interesting we can get into the kitchen and sorry um i know you're tired guard but i was i was actually doing nothing wrong i mean j just saying for the rec for the record we um we were just having a little wander around i mean i know it's lock up now but was it lock up before Hmm, anyway, we're being escorted in, and we'll see what we can do. I guess, well, it's currently sleep time now as well. Right, fair enough. We'll have to, uh, yeah, we'll have to have a sleep, I guess. But because the 
card is exhausted and going against the floor, it's uh, taking us quite some time to get to where we need to be. So, I mean, thinking about ways to escape, because I haven't identified the snitch yet, but I think realistically where we, were, where we are, it's very easy to dig a tunnel, especially since we've got access to loads of digging implements from the kitchen. So the idea is that we hit the inmate, or find them, let's just sleep here, and oh, it's now locked, it's gonna be locked up for an hour, isn't it? Uh, when in doubt, farm some points. You know, there's no reason not just to farm some points. Um, and yeah, skip, and then we'll go for maybe tough, instigate a skilled fighter, uh, and you just keep keep doing this because it's lock up. You can't do anything other than just stand around, and that's not really interesting. So we're just making the the most of our time, really. Um, I'd like, as I said, not to go up into a different category because I don't. Well, there's that ship sail, doesn't it? Um, I don't know if we will go up into it yet. We have gone up into a different category, but apparently we haven't moved anywhere. We are here. Okay. Um, I did say I wanted to get deadly, but I've actually just gone with like quick. Um, so I do still need to keep farming these points and. Um, well, it's pretty easy when you can just take out pretty much all of the uh, all of the guards that come after you. And we haven't even got like full set of like really powerful points here, but we are we are working on that. Right there, we go. It's now shower time. So we've managed to farm a good number of points. Um, I haven't really checked in like these areas. So there's Cleef. We've got uh, Danbeck, who's strong. This is just where they store all the blood, apparently, <laughs> mainly the guards. Uh, none of them guys have snitch. It's gonna be like the last one I check, isn't it? Like that's just my luck, um, or rather an aptitude, I guess. Uh, Vinny, no, down at the bottom here. Uh, there's tough in there. There's a couple of inmates. All right. Well, I haven't checked down the very bottom, so there might be more there. But I mean, it actually occurs to me I haven't searched all of these guys around here. Ash rub, and apparently there is only one snitch, so as soon as I find them, that's actually like, sort of, search complete, we don't need to go much further, and, oh, oh, hello, Lindsay, Aston Lindsay, they are a snitch, okay then, and we've been locked up inside their cell, um, <laughs> well, I guess, I guess we're going to get brought back, but we have identified who our target is. Now, what's the best way of doing this? Well, I don't want to do anything at the moment. I mean, we could take them out and then spend our time escaping, but I don't think that's really the, the, the heart of the challenge. I think the idea is that we formulate our escape, get everything prepped, and then it's a quick take out, run, get out. That's the goal. Have we been moved to a slightly different cell? I don't think so. Um, so we're in here. Okay, well what I'm going to do is I'm going to, in free time, which it is now, I'm going to rush over here and, ah, I can't see, they've, they've gone. Oh, there's fighting going on as well, apparently. Um, I'm going to go and, I'm going to, oh there's, no, oh, I can say, is that a feather stone? No. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to pick up the fork. And basically anything I find I'm picking up. Alright, so there's two items and now it's lock up again. <laughs> The regime on this facility is quite harsh, isn't it? It, it? It's it's very jarring. You do a couple of things and then, oh yeah, you're being escorted back to wherever. Um, is this going to go to... Oh, it's, oh, it's only 12 a.m. I was going to say, is this going to go back to sleep time? I mean, it technically can. You can set 24-7 sleep if you want to. It's not going to do anything, but you can do it. Anyway, is this person still in here? They are. So, there's a couple of ways we could do this. I could wait until free time and go to their cells, take them out, run away. Another way is to, again, free time, or when it's eat, where they have to go somewhere where they eat, or the canteen, start a bit of a fight, then it goes from there. Um, but then you have to run through loads of checkpoints, and that's, that's uh, yeah, not ideal. However, what might be better is if we recruit them, bring them back here as our friend. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're just going to have a, a game of cards, a quiet game of cards. Yeah, as if that's going to happen. What's going to happen here is I'm going to dig underneath this foundation to there and right-click to dig up and that would escape us. So, we have managed to get our prep done. It's currently eat time. And 
I need to find our target. I mean, they're going to be in here. They have to be. Unless there's another... Unless there's another place. I mean, the people are in the shower. No. It's trying to find them again. It's easier if we just wait for... The next regime change. Yeah, people are heading back. Okay. So, just wait in here. It's currently yard time, but most likely people are going to come back. Or do we have a look in the yard? Should we have a look? Have a quick look in here. There's Armand there, hanging around. Are they climbing? Yeah! Did they just jump over that fence? They did! That's Warren Armand. Good for you, matey. <laughs> okay. They got out. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Like, we can't do that. Which is a bit of a shame. <laughs> I'm just hoping the snitch hasn't done that. Like, they haven't heard about our plans and have uh, head out themselves. Looks like it's kicking off. There's Lindsay. So we recruit them. And it's currently lock up. Mm, well, they're going to be... Well, they're, they're going to be where they are. Here. We're going to be escorted to ourselves. Bear in mind that we've got this knife and we've had it on us all this time. I don't know how we're stashing it and how the guards aren't finding it. But, well, that appears to be a them problem rather than us. <laughs> we're actually just flashing the knife in front of them anyway. And they're just not really bothered. So, it's now free time. I've told Lindsay to follow us. So they're coming to our cell. You see them following behind now? So we're having that nice game of cards. And it is free time. We are totally within our rights to do this. So, I told them to follow me. So, where are they? So in here, it appears they won't come inside the cell. Okay. Well, I mean, if we were just to do that. Oh, lock up again. We're being escorted back to here. And Lindsay ain't moving. And Mafu's coming in. So can I even take them out while they're in our... No, I can't. So I can't take them out while they're in our... Uh, um... <laughs> in our group okay there we go that's been with the prison architect prisoner boy is has successfully assassinated lindsay yeah okay interesting challenge can't say massively difficult truth be told it would be more of a challenge if there was multiple snitches but I'd like to know what you think, because this was a bit of a tester, a bit of a teaser for maybe other challenges in the future. This facility, in and of itself, was not difficult to escape from. Um, it was directly suggested from someone because I think it did have only one snitch in there and on the Steam Workshop, so again, I'll link in the description for that. But uh, yeah, we could probably, if we needed just to escape, tunnelling, obviously exceptionally easy, you've seen that. We could have probably just walked out the front door. There wasn't a huge amount of uh, security and things like that. And, um, you know, it, it's I don't know how old the facility is, but, yeah, interesting and fun challenge. I, I enjoyed it um, for what it was. It is pixels, after all. But, uh, yeah, either way, if you have any tips, comments, suggestions for challenges like this or something similar, different, whatever you want to say, put it in the comments. And if you have any suggestions, again, for other designs that you want me to try and escape from, then put the name or the uh, the... the the address or whatever the steam workshop uh, link in the comments as well hope you have enjoyed it thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings